how to clone an app just like Instagram. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. On this video, we have great fucking news. The news are Instagram reloaded. I am going to re-record and re-upload and re-code and re-everything of Instacon. This is a huge update that I've been working on for a little bit long time uh, because I love you people and I want, to, I want you to know the best things and the most updated things. Instaclone was done a long time ago, like more than a year, and the things have changed a lot. And I don't feel right with you guys learning something outdated. So I wanted to make this update for free for you forever because I love you and because teachers don't usually do this. I want you to know this. Usually people don't do this. They just don't update it because it will be like a different course. In our case, it's part of the service. So on the previous um, Instaclone version, the first one, we worked with Django, Django REST framework, React, Redux, React Native and Redux also, and Amazon Web Service. On this version, we're going to learn the best practices and the most updated way of doing things. We're going to work with Django, of course. We're going to work not with cookie cutter because many people have problems with it. We're going to work with GraphQL on Django and Graphene, which is a GraphQL thing for Django, which is awesome. We are going to work with React, of course. You know I love React, but we're not gonna work with Redux because no, nobody uses Redux anymore. Because what happened was that the people that used Redux killed themselves because it was horrible. From Redux to GraphQL and Apollo. So the back, the front end will be React, style components, not SaaS, and Apollo rather than Redux. The iOS app was going to be iOS Android with the newest version of Expo that has very different stuff, with the newest version of the React navigation that has a little bit different, and also we're going to work with GraphQL on React Native which will make our work so much faster. To deploy, we're going to work with different techniques. Before, what we did was that we deployed the backend and the frontend together in Amazon Web Servers. Now we're going to separate this and we're going to put the frontend on Netlify or some content delivery network and we're going to put the backend maybe on Amazon Web Servers or Heroku, maybe Heroku, easier. I'm still traveling, I will come back to Korea in two weeks and I'll start recording immediately. And I promise you, we'll try to release this bitch as fast as we can. We're gonna keep the previous thing. If you are interested in learning Redux and learning the old Django REST framework, of course, we're gonna keep it there and you're gonna get the new course for free on other place so nothing gets deleted and the questions don't, don't get lost in anything there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this announcement. I've been dying to make this video for a long time, but Dean didn't let me do it. By the way, I'll tell you a secret. This is not the only course we're going to update this what? year. We're going to update other ones. So you have to be, stay tuned because there's more updates coming. Do you still have time to let me know what you wanna see on the project? Maybe you want to see a small feature of Instagram that we didn't implement before, maybe filters. Let me know, okay? Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.